my channel, Tor Athena, where today I am reviewing a comic book. Who'd have thought? And today we're reviewing Dead Rabbit by Image Comics. So what is the comic about? Written by Jerry Duggan and drawn by John McCree, back in the 90s, Dead Rabbit was a prolific Boston stick-up man and an hoodlum, until he took down one of the last big scores and disappeared. Nobody ever discovered the truth. He retired to be with the love of his life. Now he's back in the mask to save her. But no one, not his wife, the mafia or the cops, is happy that he's out of retirement. So what did I think of the comic? Okay, I actually loved this comic. I. I really loved it. I was like, I, this is something I read on January the 3rd, so we're only three comics into this year. But it was already my favourite comic that I had read. Infuriatingly, I discovered this is actually also a comic that got recalled because there was a copyright scandal with the name Dead Rabbit. Apparently it's a bar in New York and they wouldn't let them have the, the name. I don't know why, that's all I know. Very annoying, but I have heard that it is meant to be coming back, but issue one and two were recalled so it's very hard to get hold of issue one and two now Arrgh. yeah so i think i'm just cursed because whenever i love something it just dies that when i find a restaurant i love it dies when i find a band i love they haven't died yet i adore the cover we kind of could, we could gather that i would love this my my aesthetic is very typical and very stylistic and iconic they they all very fit a theme and this cover it very much fits image it very much fits everything it's just oh it's just beautiful i should have warned you i haven't slept in like 30 hours so i don't know why i thought i would film videos today because i'm not with it <laughs> i'm reviewing a comic and i'm just like oh it's very good <laughs> Although I'm not a massive fan of when the cover art and the inside art are very, very different because obviously you might pick it because you appreciate the cover art and it, you don't like the inside art at all. It is different, but it's very good to match the story. It's very Vertigo-esque. It's very gritty. It's very dark with detailed lines and it kind of fits the mood of a vigilante crime thriller comic that this story is. The story flows exceptionally well. You are never lost within any page and the characters develop very organic and very well with every page. Something else that's very organic in this comic is actually the dialogue. It's actually a very hard thing to get right and it's something that can very easily make or break a comic. They've done it very, very well in this, very well. Especially with the Vigilante one, I think it's very easy to make very false narrative and cringy one-liners when it shouldn't have in a serious Vigilante comic. So they've done a really good job. Personally, I am usually very bored of action, thriller, crime, even drama. I just, it just doesn't interest me, if I'm honest. If there isn't a clear, strong theme of like romance or horror, that's it. <laughs> I'm not interested and I was so invested in this comic. I am so invested in this comic. I found issue two for like a tenner online and I was tempted to buy it and I'm poor and a cheapskate. So the fact that I was actually thinking I would spend 10 pound on 24 pages just to read the story, not even to collect, just to read the story, that says a lot. <laughs> I've written out of five for my YouTube reviews, but then out of 10 for my overall reviews to be more precise at the end of the year when I kind of do like monthly awards and um or ye annual awards and i give it five out of five but only nine out of ten because nothing's really perfect so i think it's had to i think really it'd be a 4.5 and i've rounded it up but annoyingly it was a brilliant comic that you probably can't go and read easily now so i'm really sorry about this review but i want you to keep an eye out for it for when they bring it out again like they said they would or if you find this comic at a reasonable price or if you have loads of money to burn buy it at a whatever price because i think it's worth it i really enjoyed it thank you so much for watching this comic review i hope you enjoyed it what have you read this comic did you manage to get your hands on it what do you think do you agree with me do you disagree with me this is why i do these videos i love talking about comics don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps out the channel and if you want to support me any more than you already do you can on patreon where you get loads of goodies for as little as a dollar a month which is like 70p it's nothing but it means everything to me thank you so much for watching and i will see you every other day so not tomorrow but the next bye